up guys so today i will have three mini reviews coming out tonight including lamar miller final edition uh tyra taylor and his final edition uh tovin smith who has just been a beast man 98 excel is just ridiculous for a linebacker but anyways um those reviews should be coming out uh tonight so for now man let's get back to uh lamar miller's 94 overall short pass style plus two to carry 5'10", 96 speed, 97 agility, 95 ball carry, 98 juke, 81 truck, 95 carry, 94 excel, and 94 elusiveness. Also has a 77 catch and an 86 stiff arm. Now, he is definitely a fast running back. There's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, you definitely feel him take off when you, get, uh, when you hand him the ball. But anyways, man, enough about the stats. Let me show you what he can do on the field. So like I said in the beginning of the video, man, 96 speed is amazing. As you can see here, just take off and be gone. Watch people just dive at your feet. That was always fun to see, you know, people just diving at your feet trying to grab you like this right here. You definitely feel him take off when you run with him. And this right here as well, even though he has 96 speed, he will get caught from time to time. And you can do this right here as well. Stop, with, uh, stop on a dime and go in the, in the other direction. Watch people dive at your feet. But, you know, he's definitely an outside runner. If you want to run up the middle, you can. But... I only recommend doing that if there's like a huge gap. Otherwise, just keep it to the outside because he's not the kind of running back to break tackles very often. And this right here, I did get one nice stiff arm as you can see right there. And I think like one drag or like a few drags. But stiff arming should not be something that you try to do over and over again. Only if you think, you know, like you can pull it off. But for the most part, just stick to uh, the outside runs. This right here, his hands, solid hands. But of course, these are all wide open passes. Now... He did not perform that well, you know, throwing in traffic, which is not really that surprising. So, if he's, he's wide open in the flats or across the middle or something, you know, feels, uh, feel free to do it then. But other than that, just keep it to the uh, uh, the outside. Now, he took a lot of big hits, believe me. A lot of it. I think he took like 10 hits and had zero fumbles, which was amazing. You know, which makes sense. I mean, he does have a, a give a plus two to carry. But even though he didn't fumble for me, I'm not saying that he'll never fumble for you. I'm just saying it's not something that you should worry about. And this right here, he definitely had a solid amount of, um, of broken tackles on his own. Not, you know, like a lot, but definitely solid enough to, you know, well, at least more than I thought he would have. That, <laughs> that's for damn sure. But, you know, as well as he played, man, he definitely did not break enough tackles or, you know, uh, perform as well, you know, to put him in the top five or even top ten overall. As you can see here, definitely went down on the first hit plenty of times. Now, like I said, if you want to use him, you know, outside runs and of course the number one thing he did best was the juke move which you'll see coming up soon enough which i believe is coming up right after this highlight but but like i said his stiff form was solid juking was amazing catching was great his spin though i just want to point that out do not try to spin with him i had very little success with it unless you know if you would think you know if you think you can do better with him with the spin go for it but for the most part I just say stick to this right here. Juking, he just made it look effortless, man. I'm not a big fan of juking, but when you can see here, when you see someone do it this well, man, it's just hard not to do it. So I had a lot of fun doing that. And this right here, I hate when this happens, man. This could have been six easy, but my linemen get in my way and they're celebrating. And they let this guy just run through, man. That would have been six, but they're too busy, you know, holding their hands up in the air, celebrating. And they let that guy just run by them. So, oh, God, that was so annoying. But anyways... This is the best way to use them as you can see here. Double juke and then use that speed to get away. So that's how I best recommend to use Lamar Miller. Anyways guys, that's going to be the end of this review. My final thoughts. Do I think he's worth 50000 That sounds like a pretty solid price to me. Now is he a top 5 back? I would say no. But is he a top 5 budget back? I made a video a while ago saying that 50 k or less is about uh, you know, like what a budget player should go for. And most of you seem to agree with me. So I would not say he's a top 5 back overall. But I would definitely feel that he's a top 5 budget back. Now, anyways, guys, that, oh, that's going to be the end of that. And like I said, I have two more mini reviews coming out later today. And when that's done, tomorrow I should have a full review for this Cromarty a Legend card. So be on the lookout for that. If you have not subscribed already, make sure you do so you will be up to date with this content when it drops. I'll see y'all boys later. Peace.